Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are first going to review the PDB Creative Studio Glitter Pack number 56. Every month, PDB Creative Studio releases five new gorgeous glitters in one pack. We're gonna take these out of the bottle so I can show you their true beauty because of course, every glitter looks different outside of the bottle. So when you get it, you need to pour that glitter out and look and see how beautiful it really is. I will tell you how to get your hands on these specific glitters as well as the next glitter packs in the future. And then we will incorporate every one of them on a tumbler. The first glitter that we have here is a gorgeous lavender. This is Fair Maiden. Now, normally these are chunky mixes. I'm so happy that they incorporated this fine mix because my gosh, it's so pretty. There's also some opal mixed in with this as well. So you have a really beautiful color shift going on as well. And next up, we have Roxy. This is a really beautiful, chunky opal mix. I've got to say, opals are probably my favorite to use on tumblers. You can put any color you want underneath them, and that color is going to shine through with this absolutely beautiful shimmer to it. All five of these glitter colors are going to be released April 27th at 2 p.m. MST time. So I will link pdbcreativestudio.com below as well as a coupon code for y'all to save a little while purchasing these beautiful glitters. Next up, we have Ocean Eyes. Of course, it is a blue. It speaks for itself. It reminds me so much of like the beach, the ocean, some waves, it would be beautiful on a beach tumbler for sure. It is also a chunky mix. Before I started using PDB Creative Studio glitters, I really did not care for chunky glitter. Everything that I used was 0.008 or 1.5 cut because for one, none of the chunky mixes I had were as incredible as PDB Creative Studio. And the quality just wasn't there. When I dumped or sprinkled the chunky glitter on my tumblers, it almost sounded like a metal hitting metal. The glitter was really heavy and it was just thick and blah. I, I did not like using it at all. But once I got my hands on the PDB Creative Studio glitter, it was a complete game changer because as you see, this here is Epiphany. It is a beautiful pastel yellow. The glitter is so feather lightweight. You can actually say the glitter is fluffy. So when you're applying it to your tumblers, it just flows. It goes where it's supposed to go. It does not sound like you are dumping little shards of metal onto your stainless steel tumbler. It, it's just perfection. Just as this fairy godmother, y'all, I know most of us have a weakness for gold glitter. And if you're like me, you have about 50 different gold mixes in your collection. But this one right here, this one tops all of them. The different size flakes, the shapes, and the sizes of the glitter just all combined together makes one absolutely stunning gold mix. Now, like I said, these are being released on April 27th at 2 p.m. EST time. There are ways to get your hands on the glitter pack all together at a discounted price. Make sure you check below in the description to know how to get your hands on these first when they are released and at a discounted price. So let's get started combining all of these beautiful colors together. I have a 20 ounce straight tumbler from Parish Tumblers. I have base painted it white with Crystalac Flippin' Awesome paint. I just did two coats of this paint and you can see I did have a little spot that I knocked the paint off, but I'm not super concerned with that because PDB glitter is 
has incredible coverage, so I know for certain that it's going to cover it up. And we're gonna take double-sided tape, just alternate the sizes in no real rhyme or reason. I'm just sort of winging it and putting it on my cup. But the very first one, you want to make sure that that is lined up perfectly with the rim of your tumbler. Don't go all the way to the top of the rim. Bring that down just a little bit so you have a little bit of room to sand and get that smooth rim up at the top with a little stainless showing. That way you have a good seal with your epoxy. Now, when I put on my double-sided tape, I am wrapping that around. And then here you see I put a mark at the top and the bottom because I do plan on putting a glitter swirl on this. And then I, I pretty much just drew a stencil of where my glitter swirl is going to go. The reason that I did this is because if you're using multiple fine glitters, you will be able to see the seam where you trimmed your tape. It's almost unavoidable if you are using some extra fine 0.008 cut glitters for the entire tumbler. So I wanted to show you how to avoid that. If you're going to add on like a gl glitter swirl, then this is the way that you can cover it up. Of course, if you are just going to add a decal, you can keep that seam straight up and down your tumbler. So make a mark um, to where you can put all of your seams down that straight line. But in this instance, once again, we're doing a swirl. So I am going to swirl my seams around the tumbler. And as I am working my way down the tumbler, I'm just really making sure that those stripes are pressed down really well so that there's not any bubbles underneath them. And then I just overlap the ends where they meet. I got this double-sided tape from Amazon and I will link that down below for y'all. It's pretty good quality. I'm not going to say that it's the stickiest stuff in the world. You most certainly can take your double-sided adhesive sheets that I have seen lots use for the burst tumblers and I have used artistry's shape tape which is incredibly tacky in my prior tutorials you can take that and use your vinyl trimmer and cut off even strips just alternate the widths between them and wrap those around your tumbler if that's something that you have on hand I'm just gonna let this play through for y'all so you can see how I wrap them around the tumbler. Like I said, there's not really any rhyme or reason why I'm putting them in the order I am. I was just alternating the sizes or the widths of it and working my way down. And then I'll show you how to finish off the bottom once I get there with my double-sided tape.
right, so now that we have made it to the bottom of the tumbler, we're going to start adding on our glitter. I'm first going in with Fair Maiden, and the reason that I used my fine glitter first is because if we were to use a chunky glitter first, of course there's going to be a few little spots in there that a fine glitter can make their way into. I don't want this to look muddled or like the glitter is blending into each other. So we're going in with the extra fine first and then we will work with our other colors. Also, if you are using a white glitter anywhere on your tumbler, make sure you do white last. If you do that first, other bits are really going to show if they make their way into your white and it will just look blended together. So if you're using a white glitter in your stripes or if you are doing a burst tumbler and have multiple colors, always use your white or your lightest glitter last. I just rubbed that glitter in a little bit, brushed off the excess glitter around the tumbler. And quick tip that I totally forgot to do, if you are working with double-sided tape that is slick like this one is and not a matte finish, the glitter is really going to stick to it even when you're trying to brush it off. So take Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat and do a very light spray of that over top of the protective layer of your tape and that will give it a matte finish so that when you go to brush your glitter off, it's going to just fall right off. You're not gonna really have to work to get it off there. So once I have my stripes on, I'm going in with Crystallax Glitter Glue and basically just paint, painting on top of my glitter and then I'm going to do a second coat of glitter. Is this 100% necessary? No, because as you can see, there is excellent coverage there already. I just really want my colors to pop. And doing a second layer when I don't have that specific base underneath the color glitter, it's gonna help make this pop and stand out and make my stripes even bolder. Once I had the glitter glue painted on and really nice and even so it wouldn't gloop up in any areas, I dumped my glitter back onto those stripes once again, tapped off the excess, and then I set this to the side for probably about 30 minutes before I started working on my next color. You really don't have to wait that long before you go into your next color. You can jump straight into it. But like I said, I was having some issues with my glitter sticking to the slick side of this tape. So I wanted to give it a little bit of time to dry so I could pretty aggressively go over that with a makeup brush or a paintbrush and get some of that excess glitter off before I went into my next color. Now the next bits of me adding glitter onto my stripes are going to be super sped up. Otherwise, this would be a whole day long tutorial <laughs> because it does, this does take some time. I'm not going to lie, but it's really worth it because the stripes look so good once you are finished and you can really do some unique color combinations on this. So if a customer is wanting some crazy colors combined on one tumbler, this is a really awesome way to incorporate them and it really still look great. I forgot to mention the little tumbler stand I'm using. I don't know about y'all, but holding on to the PVC that is used for my turner really starts to hurt my, like my hand or my wrist. So I grabbed one of these tumbler stands from Kimmy Page Boutique. She does have them for the screw on arms and for the ones that do not. And it makes it a lot easier to grip onto the bottom and hold this tumbler for an extended period of time to do these stripes. I will drop her shop link and a discount code down below for y'all for this one as well. I'm gonna let this play through so you can just watch the process of applying these beautiful glitters and then I will hop back on with you once we go to finish the bottom and add on our glitter swirl.
Now once we finished all of our colors, I decided to use the white for my bottom. So I'm just taking that glitter glue, putting a very nice coat on the bottom of my tumbler, and then I'm going to take Roxy and sprinkle that on, and then I will tap down that glitter just to make sure any chunky bits are not standing up. I'll sit this tumbler to the side for about two hours to dry and then spray with Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Coat a good two times to make sure that my glitters are not going to run into each other. I am taking Artistry's 1 to 1 Ratio Facet Epoxy and doing a mega fine coat or mega thin coat of epoxy on this tumbler. The reason we're doing such a thin coat on top of the glitter is because we're going to add on our glitter swirl so we can eliminate having too many coats or more coats of epoxy. In the beginning, we did mark off where I was wanting my swirl to go. And as you can see, this tumbler is completely seamless thanks to the excellent coverage of the glitter. But still, in the case that you were using a a lot of really light color glitters or if you're using extra fines you would probably be able to see where that tape overlaps and you applied your glitter over it and this is where you will be able to cover those little seams up now i didn't intend to make such a thick swirl around the tumbler but i did feel like i ended up adding a little bit too much I went a little heavy on the center of my swirl and it was a little clumpy, but that is okay. We ended up covering that up with a decal. Just sprinkle it on sparingly in the beginning. That way you can really watch how much glitter is going onto your tumbler and not dump too much on there. I allowed that to dry for about an hour and then I added on another coat of epoxy and then once that tumbler was dried completely, I sanded it down to get it ready for our decal. I did get this image off of Creative Fabrica. I will list the link down below, as well as a link for you to subscribe to Creative Fabrica and have free access to all of their files for just a dollar for your first month. And that is absolutely worth it because you have access to everything on there and can download it for free. And it's super helpful when especially doing ready to ship cups where you need some inspiration for decals. I absolutely love Creative Fabrica. I am doing three layers of vinyl and using my really awesome light pad to help me layer these together and get them lined up perfectly. The top is a lavender from Tech Wrap Craft and then I did a 0.035 offset and then did a 0.035 offset of the offset. <laughs> I applied that to my sanded tumbler and applied two final layers of epoxy and this baby was complete. I'm really loving adding these inspirational pieces to my tumblers. I feel like it's really important to be reminded to be yourself, especially with all the crazy filters and expectations from the small businesses these days with social media. You need to be reminded, be brave to do what you love and stand out, be humble, be kind to others, and most importantly, be you and not anyone else. Don't forget to check the description below on how you can get your hands First, on the next discounted glitter pack, join the PDB Creative Studio Facebook group as well as Brittany Barnes Boutique to be updated on new products, fun giveaways, and we just hit 10,000 subscribers. Yay! So we will have a big giveaway for that. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. That is all for today, and we will see you next time.